Hey guys, it's Sierra and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this was supposed to be a totally different video. What had happened was, okay, I am about to go work out after this video. And just so you know, just so you know, your girl is out here dropping pounds, okay? She's lost 10 pounds in quarantine and she is not giving up. She is going for the gold here, okay? But anyway, whatever. So I put my headbands on. I, you know, put on, you know, my workout clothes. And then I was like, I feel like Pat McGrath. Like, have you seen pictures of Pat McGrath? Like, she always has a headband on. Always has like a black headband on. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, this needs to be a Pat McGrath video. And that is where my mind went. So what we're gonna do <laughs> is a Pat McGrath video, but Please, before we start this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to see you guys back. And thank you to the people that are subscribing. I appreciate you guys so much. You know the transition? That's the one you're about to see right now. Here are the three, three. Here are the three things that I do have. I have the Skin Finish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder in Medium. I also have the Sublime Perfection Concealer in M17. I have this also in M20, but M20 is a little bit too dark and I have to get another shade. Then I also picked up the foundation in the shade medium 17 as well. Cool. This is exciting because I've never tried her foundation. I really wanted to see what this is like. For real, because everybody just talks about it, raves about it. Oh my God, is it, is it really that amazing though? Is it really that amazing? I was not picking up that primer for $60. I just could not do it, guys. I just, I just couldn't do it. Let me grab a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette and then we'll get right into the products that I did buy. We're gonna keep in theme and use the Pat McGrath Mothership Sublime Opulence Palette. Guys, I ripped it. Oh no. My life is over, my life is over, my life is over, my life is over, my life is over. Well, that's a goner. So we're gonna do a quick look with this palette. I'm gonna zoom through it though, okay? And uh, yeah, BRB. All right, I look is done for now. Let's break down the specs per use. I bought it on patmograph.com. I bought the Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Duo, which comes with the concealer as well as the blurring under eye powder for $52. And then the foundation was $68. I got a discount using Spring VIP 20 for $24 off. So my entire total was $103.44 for all three of these products, which she's expensive, she's expensive, okay? We do not have time to waste. I wanna know what all of the, oh, it's very, very liquidy. It's, okay, it's, it's liquidy. Okay, so my impressions of this foundation is that it is definitely medium, natural, finishy vibes. Like, my skin but better vibes. Foundation is on, let's do concealer. I've used this concealer before. I really do like this concealer. I thought that this concealer was gonna be a more medium coverage concealer but it's not it's actually pretty full coverage my thoughts were like you know pat mcgrath has this vibe of like you know your skin but better vibes but this concealer is uh definitely full coverage but it is so thin and that's what i like about it so this one is not a first impression this is just a i already know what this does she does wonders also, I forgot, guys, a little bit goes a long way with this concealer. I totally forgot that. 
so that is with the concealer blended out. Guys, I really like this concealer. I would have put this in my March monthly favorites, but I just hadn't used it enough for me to actually be like, this is a favorite, you know? But this is a really, really, really good concealer. And what I'm guessing, I have not read this online though, but if you are a M17 in the foundation, which I am, it seems like the M17 in the concealer is a tad bit lighter. Do you know what I mean? Like it, like it takes the guesswork out of it, trying to figure out what your shade is. I think, because that's what it looks like. You guys let me know, because I have a feeling that that's what she did. And if she did do that, she's a smart, smart woman. I'm going to open up this Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Prime. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it's called. Oh, this is gonna be a mess clean up, Kat. You know I got kids. Give me all this extra stuff to clean. Okay, so here it is. This is the shade Medium. I, I kinda wanted to do this video a little different instead of like reading up on the product and how to actually use it. I just kinda wanted to put it on, like I think like an average person would put it on. Like, it says under eye powder. Where do you put it? underneath your eye. So that's where we're gonna put it. Let's see. Let's see if you are worth it. Okay, so this side has the blurring powder underneath and this side does it. Okay, I can see that. This, you see how this side is a little bit more dewy? Okay, I'm looking in the monitor. So, do I think that it's blurring? I just don't know if it's so good to where I would think that this is better than like just a good setting powder. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Let's 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 continue. Let's let's move forward. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my regular whatever setting powder I found first. Let me run through doing the rest of my face real quick and I'll pop them on and give you my final thoughts. BRB. <laughs> Guys. This foundation now has been on for a few hours because when I went to go put the SD card in my computer to just look at the footage, I realized that my audio was horrible. So here we are re-recording what I already recorded. Here are my final thoughts on all three of these products. You've heard me speak about this concealer already. I did have it in M20. M17 is such a better shade match for me. I love this formula. I love how full coverage it is, but at the same time, it's not thick at all. It actually is super creamy, super smooth. A little bit does go a long way with this concealer. It is a little bit pricey, as are all Pat McGrath products, but I do think you would get your money out of this because of how little you really have to use in order to get a full coverage moment. This foundation looks beautiful on the skin, even after hours of wear. We have a little bit of cracking right here. Okay. After a few hours, I do have some cracking. Okay, let's keep it real. But the finish of this foundation is beautiful. Um, we're gonna have to work with her a couple more times, see if maybe um, certain primers work better with her. The last thing I wanna talk about is this right here. I love this packaging. It's the Blurring Under Eye Powder. It's $30 on its own. I don't think it's necessary. I feel like I can get this with a very nice setting powder. I think out of all of the products here, I would say that that would be my pass. I'm going to keep messing around with these products because these are first impressions and you know I'm going to start putting um, on my blog my final thoughts on certain products so that you guys have an idea of what my final final thoughts are um, and that's coming up soon guys so I love you guys so much thank you guys for hanging out with me I appreciate you guys so much 
and I will see you guys in my next video.